Hello everybody, this is Big Movie Gamer and we're back with some more Super Mario, Paper Mario. <laughs> I haven't said Super Mario in a while, but Paper Mario, the thousand year door. Uh, we are actually on the final star, but we're going to do some side quests. Hold on one second. Yo, 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 Great Gonzalez, I hear throwing you hurt your hat back into the finery. If you come back, it's like a robot convention. Are you an android or a box? I don't know, whatever. Well, well, wait a minute. Flash, 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 flash. Hey, who are you anyway? Oh wait. I am a Luigi. It's a me, Luigi. <laughs> There's mush. Let's go. Mario, my friend, you came. Thank you. I've been able to throw my fans once again as Prince Mush. I love you to show you my prediction for finding you if you're up for it. Just enter my expedition match. <laughs> I guess we can do the expedition match. Welcome to the army uh, expedition match. Our fighters ready to take my first year at expedition rules. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of weird, Luigi, with the M. It's time for today's main event, and we're in for a beat of a brawl. Here before your eyes, our newest champ, the Great Gonzalez, will battle the very first champion, Prince Mush. Once all said and done, which of these two beloved fighters will be left standing in the arena? Let's get our star gladiators out here. First, making his triumphant return to the Gliss Pits, it's the Great Gonzalez. Yeah, you rock man, Gonzalez, he's back. And he's green, lean green, mean machine. What an entrance, the crowd is going wild for Gonzalez, our third champion. And standing opposite our newest champion is the first ever fighter to bear the title. That's right, folks. Back in action and better than ever, ready for a regular royal return to the ring. Get up for Prince Mush. Two band champions face to face at last. The second member of the crowd has reached a new peak. It's time to ring the starting bell and bring again a match that will echo through the halls of Glitz Pits for eternity. Get ready to brawl! Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Okay, Mario, let's give this match everything we got. Did he just dodge my attack? <laughs> what? Let me see if a Thunder Rage can get him. Oh. 
he finally got me. Oh, I finally got him. <laughs> Yoshi's butt. Dang. Swap with someone. How about Bobby? Okay. Mm. Oops. Eh. Uh. Oh, great. He's going Super Saiyan. Uh, <laughs> dead. Lin Smoosh. Thank you for the match. Wow, he's really tough. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to... Yeah, um... Wow, I'm gonna have to look him up and see what I can do. I'm not gonna be able to beat him. Wow.
Yeah, we'll come back and find him again, but I, I guess I won't beat him. I won't be able to beat him right now. All right, get this off. I wonder what that is, though. We're afraid it has to be done with the right now. Let's go check. Let's go see what he has to say. Ah, oh, excellent timing. I finally have it, Mario. I found a way that might just get you to the moon. You must go to Favor Outpost, and you must use the cannon there. It will blast you. Uh, pardon me, Sugar. We used to we used to we to use a cannon to get to the moon. Is that entirely safe? Uh, I know how it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not really entirely sure of all the details. Accounts from Far Outpost speak of a device that can launch anything. Anywhere. Uh, even to the moon. Well, let's not delay, huh? Where's this father, uh, far outpost? Uh, I believe there's a pipe to far ops or somewhere beneath Rogue Port. Uh, but I'm not sure of a location. It's hidden for some reason. If my information is correct, you need something called Ultra Hammer to get it. Oh, the Ultra Hammer. Yes, apparently the Ultra Hammer made for opening the way is here in town, in a spot where it stands out. You'll have to figure out how you're going to find it, though, because I don't know. Huh, <laughs> good luck with that. Once you find it, the path will far hope I'll post map. Is it that one that I keep looking at? We're on our way, frankly. To far I'll post we go. Yo, oh, yes, one more thing you should be aware of. The Baba Bombs who live there are sort of a surly bunch. Surely bunch. They might not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. In any case, that's your problem. Good luck. Let's get get that last crystal car. Sorry. So it's this. Well, it's this. It's that. That's for sure. That. Not a bad time to use my boat. See what the boat does. I was gonna check it, but I kept forgetting. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, hey. Ah, Mario, it's me, Lumpy. Don't you remember? I went to Dry Desert to drill for oh, Pretty Bell. I. I was successful. I did it! I totally struck oil! There were times that I was covered in dust, weak, and ready to give up, but, but I never lost sight of the dream, and one day I finally seized it. Just don't let your dream die, Mario. I know you'll make it someday, just like I did. And also, I uh, kept the journal of my trip. Do you want to read it? Oh.
I am sure that if I give him a lot of money, I would get a lot of money back. I, I just didn't believe him, man. It's a, I know it's a game, but still, you don't do this in real life. Do not do this in real life. Unless they have like proof and everything and everything's legit, but don't do it in real life. Uh. Pretty good story. I'm so sorry I didn't help you, man. But I didn't trust you. I mean, there's nothing else. So I'm guessing that, that if you give him your, if you give him the money, he would have given you a lot back. Oh well. 
I kind of had a feeling, but I was like, I don't know. I just don't know, man. Okay, I need to twitch because she doesn't let me see anyone, anything. Another stuff piece. We're gonna go to the other because I have a feeling that's the only way to get there. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I have the ability. Ah, uh, so dumb. Ah, uh, jeez. Alright, there we go. Give me that. That Ultra Hammer. I knew it. Hi, it's me again, don't that oops, uh oh, jeez. My ACMI, I need to switch it. Nice to see you again. Way to find the ultra hammer. Now your hammer will have an even more at attack power. And you can also use a, a new hammer technique. Let's practice it right away. It's just like with the super hammers, so no problem. Hold down B and rotate L until your body gets twisty. Then release B to use your ultra hammer. Remember to twist a lot before releasing, okay? Way to go. You got it. Are you clearing the controls? <laughs> it's just like the other one. It's just that you can destroy the stone pieces now. And with that, you can get to the moon easily. Using the stone pieces. So, the stone blocks. There's very few of them. There's not a lot. So, and there's just, uh, it's obvious that you needed it to advance on some things. So, well. your ultra hammer you can even break blocks made out of stuff like this swing it like normal to break smaller stuff but use the method i taught you to break breaker things all right and you can use ultra hammer battle too and in battle too uh this is kind of sad this is the last time i get to see you mario definitely say princess peach okay and be careful on your quest okay bye so that don't cry. I'll be okay. You'll yeah, be fine. I'll see you next time. Oh, wait. This is the last time we'll see each other. I'm so sorry. And I forgot about that. And I was gonna, like, you know, try to go up. So this episode was kind of. It was, it was okay. We find the Ultra Hammer. to do here but let's push here huh. I wonder why this is like this oh sweet
Let's see. Hammer throw, I don't really need, and tornado jump, I don't use, so. Let's do double dip. Okay. Double dip is a lot easier, better. Why are you able to go here? I guess it's just for, just to be able to see some, some more stuff. All right. What does the what do they do? Alright you guys, that's gonna do it. Next time we come back, we're going to uh, do a little bit of, uh, I'm gonna go save first. We're gonna do some more side quests and then after we're done with the side quests, we're gonna do the final uh, level. Uh, do, I, do I have time for one more side quest? Let me see. Yeah, I think so. I mean, probably not to be honest. Uh, the HDMI, I had to really change the HDMI out. Okay, so, toodles. Tell that person. Why do you mean to speak to someone for me? Ah, uh, sure. Maybe we can finally beat that guy. Man, he's tough. Must Prince Mush. Tough as they come, I guess. Let's get this thing out of the way. Oh. Okay. This is the mayor's house. I think this is Eve. <laughs> good day. I mean, uh, good dusk or whatever. I never know what time it is in here before. You know what day it is because they never leave this room. Okay, that's on her. <laughs> oh, man. It's Eve the... No, Eve is probably the mom. <laughs> yep, I should have should have gone with that. Well, it's hard to talk about in front of Sharon. Can we step aside? So you want me to tell your husband something? I need you to help me meet someone. His name is Polly, my former love. 
We had the same dream to be the stars of the musical stage. We shared our dreams and we shared our wonderful love for some time. In that cramped little apartment we huddled together, but poor and bad happy. But when I finally got a part in a brush room play as the leading lady, Polly left me. He left a quickly scrawled note that only said only this. My dear, I can only dim your bright light future. Farewell. Oh, Polly, why? My dream was always to be with you and not to be a star that shines alone. I wanted only to shine with him. Success was nothing to do without him. I left the production while it was a rehearsal. I forgot about Polly and my dreams. I got married and lived the life of a housewife, happy in his quiet comfort. And now I'm surrounded by beautiful children. My happiness is so complete now. I have forgotten about those days. But then I heard a rumor that Polly was running a chocolate chocolate and shop in Rockport. Could you please tell me what I could do like to see that I would like to see? Tell him that Pure Heart of Eve has not forgotten her first love. Uh, Chocola? What's the chocolate? Chaka hole, chaka. I guess it's a guy that looks like face from Twilight. Oh, why? <laughs> Though. That's Is that guy named Potley? He's the only one from Twilight. But he seems a little too young. I mean... Hmm, let's see. Let's go find him. Are you... Oh, wait! Is it the... Oh, no! It's this guy! It's the guy from... Ah, dude. Man, I keep forgetting. It's this guy. It has to be. Welcome to Polly's place and instruction of human lives. Oh, what did you say? What is that, Mario? Tell me, you look so serious. Huh. What? Eve? I know no such person. But perhaps you could tell this Eve person something. Tell her, live in a moment. And this is all that you need because I'm a little busy. Ah, jeez. I didn't think it was to be that hard. Wow. Uh, let's just go tell her and whatever she says and we have to go back, we'll, um, well, no, let's finish the quest. Let's finish it. Even if it takes me a little bit longer. Let's finish. Yay. Have you met with Polly? Really? What did he say? So Polly has forgotten about me. That's fine. I guess I was just feeling nostalgic. I'll probably forget about it. You know, I have these little ones to think of, so I have plenty to keep my mind busy. So hungry food. Oh, we're having a feast tonight, kids. I have special dinners from such tea shops. Mari, you have one too. Ooh. Thank you so much, Mario. You breathe new life into this old girl's heart. Oh, okay, that's it. All right. I'm so sad, but okay. Okay, that sucks, man. Well, sometimes you need to hear those words.
All right, you guys, that's going to do it. If you guys are liking the, uh, the content, please subscribe to my channel, press the like button, and press the notification bell to be notified of future episodes, and comment below if you wish. And yeah, let's continue on.